Hello guys, it's Amy. And today, I will show you how I made this into a cosplay. Woo! But first, I want to say that for a long time, I always wanted to recreate the super ultra famous Hatsune Miku pose, which was drawn by Kei, which I have already explained years ago in my Kei analysis. But anyway, as you can tell, I am in love with the original Vokalei 2 Hatsune Miku design. I grew up with her in 2009 when the Western media barely even knew about her. You couldn't even get such results of Hatsune Miku. Isn't that insane? And now, she's everywhere. And I really mean that. Amazing people cosplay her, and even right now, the Brazilian Miku trend encourage everyone to create their own Miku in all kinds of ethnicities and cultures. Truly, Miku brings humanity together. So, because of my love for this illustration, I decided to finally recreate it. First, I started with my wig because it wasn't styled. So, I bought hairspray and started styling my wig. It was my first time doing it, so don't expect anything great. But my intention was to replicate the hair bangs from the original illustration. I noticed with other cosplayers that I very much love, but the way they make the hair bangs is like, kind of like an M shape, which is a very modern way to style the Miku hair bangs. However, not gonna lie, I have like a pet peeve over it, so. I'm sorry if you're one of those cosplayers who do that. I do like it, it's just not part of my vision, I guess you could say. So after I styled the hair, I used makeup eyeshadow to exaggerate the looks. And I learned that through some Instagram reel I was looking at with tutorials. So once I got the look that I wanted, I put it on. And this is me without the wig. I look funny. <laughs> here's me with a wig on. And finally, here's me with a twin tails. I put on the costume, and my costume is bought from this brand called Equals. It was really expensive, but very worth it, in my opinion. And now, the funny part about this whole thing. So I didn't get any help for the camera, so I was basically winging it every time I would take a photo. I took so many that it's not even funny. And from there, I decided which one was the best. So. Out of all these photos, I chose this one. And then, I proceeded to edit the photo. And while editing the photo, I realized one thing. <laughs> I forgot the belt. That always happens to me. I don't know why I forget the belt, but I do. It's so annoying. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh well, maybe next year. Or something, I don't know. But yeah. I edited the photo and created this beautiful piece of art! <laughs> also, side note, I had actually had the background already done because I think last year I tried to replicate it, but um, it was so bad. Like, I'm not even gonna show, I'm not even gonna let you see it. <laughs> but yeah, here it is! My recreation of the most popular design of Hatsune Miku. What do you think? Oh, and by the way, I made other poses based on other illustrations. But that will be only for Patreon paid members. If you're interested in seeing them, go ahead and visit my Patreon. I shall actually make more in the future, and I also do some cover request commissions as well. Well, thank you for watching, and happy late birthday, Hatsune Miku! Thank you!